of children in the United Way of Wyoming Valley service area are living in poverty. And tonight, the nonprofit launched its 2018 campaign kickoff. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler spoke with a mother whose child was helped by the generosity of donors. Five-year-old Noah was diagnosed with autism at a young age. His mom, Brooke Rowe, didn't know where to turn for help to get the education her son needs. Honestly, as a mother, so broken just because my son was nonverbal. She turned to the United Way of Wyoming Valley that provides a scholarship for her son to attend the Wyoming Valley Children's Association. To give him the education that he needed. And now he says, I love you, mommy. And he, you know, sings his songs and he reads books to me. I can't thank you all. The United Way held its annual fundraising kickoff event at Mohegan Sun Pocono. For five years, their campaign goal is to help curve childhood poverty. In 2013, that rate was 29% set in the valley. With one in three kids growing up in poverty, that's a huge issue that will affect us uh, for generations to come. Redirected his life. And Father Greg Boyle of Los Angeles was the motivational speaker Thursday evening. He's the founder of Homeboy Industries, which is the largest gang intervention, rehabilitation and reentry program in the world. Father Boyle's message is of hope and redemption in the middle of poverty and crime. I hope that people can sift through and filter and translate perhaps what my experience is in Los Angeles. Here at home, the United Way sees the need for childhood education. Noah is a living proof of that. We're just able to see him now for who he is and not just what he's labeled to be. In Plains Township, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. And if you'd like to learn about the United Way of Wyoming Valley's campaign mission, head to our website, pahomepage.com. New tonight.